The sharing economy has rapidly grown in recent years, significantly changing our daily lives. However, governments around the world have introduced various regulatory policies to protect traditional industries and consumers in response to these changes. This narrative will explore how different countries regulate the sharing economy and why laws and policies often lag behind technological advancements. Indonesia actively utilizes sharing economy platforms to solve its unique transportation problems. In 2017, the Indonesian government declared Uber illegal, citing threats to the traditional taxi industry and tax evasion. Interestingly, local services like Gojek and Grab, which offer similar functionalities, received strong support from the government. These services were given tax breaks and other incentives to boost local startups. As a result, Gojek and Grab successfully established themselves in Indonesia. In France, traditional taxi drivers fiercely opposed the rise of Uber. Taxi drivers, who had paid substantial amounts for their licenses, were unhappy with Uber's cheaper operating model. In response, the French government partially banned Uber's services in 2014 and imposed strict licensing and insurance requirements on Uber drivers. This forced Uber to significantly alter its operations in France, thereby providing some protection to the traditional taxi industry. In China, global company Uber faced strict regulations. In contrast, the Chinese government strongly supported its own sharing economy platform, Didi Chuxing. In 2016, Didi Chuxing acquired Uber's China operations. With government support, Didi Chuxing quickly grew to dominate the market, reinforcing China's economic sovereignty and supporting local business growth. Spain is home to many globally renowned tourist destinations, leading to significant growth in short-term rental platforms like Airbnb. However, this growth led to rising housing costs and increased complaints from local residents. Consequently, cities like Barcelona and Madrid imposed strict regulations on Airbnb. For example, Barcelona introduced a licensing system for short-term rentals and imposed heavy fines on unregistered hosts. These measures stabilized the housing market and protected local residents' living conditions. New York City saw rapid expansion of ride-sharing services, leading to conflicts with the traditional taxi industry. In 2018, the city temporarily halted issuing new licenses for ride-sharing services like Uber and Lyft and passed legislation ensuring a minimum wage for drivers. These actions improved working conditions for drivers and provided some protection for the traditional taxi industry. Japan has a highly developed traditional taxi industry. The government prohibited non-licensed drivers from picking up passengers, thereby protecting the traditional taxi sector. As a result, Uber and similar ride-sharing services are only allowed limited operations in Japan. This policy protects traditional taxi drivers, but limits Japanese consumers' access to diverse ride-sharing options. In South Korea, Kakao Mobility's carpool service faced strong opposition from taxi drivers. The government restricted carpool services to operating only during commuting hours to protect the taxi industry. Consequently, the carpool service did not achieve significant success and consumers could not fully enjoy its convenience. In popular tourist destinations like Venice, Italy, short-term rentals via platforms like Airbnb disrupted the housing market. Therefore, the government imposed restrictions on short-term rentals, requiring licenses and imposing heavy fines for non-compliance. These regulations aim to stabilize the housing market and protect local residents' living conditions. Germany faced conflicts between the traditional taxi industry and ride-sharing services. 
In 2019, the government amended taxi laws requiring ride-sharing service drivers to meet the same licensing requirements as taxi drivers. These regulations protected the traditional taxi industry and limited the growth of the sharing economy. Several local governments in Brazil imposed strict regulations on ride-sharing services like Uber. Drivers must obtain local government permits and operate only in designated areas. These regulations protected the traditional taxi industry and limited the growth of ride-sharing services. Why do laws and policies lag behind technological advancements? Well, technology evolves rapidly, while laws and policies require careful review and consensus, making their development relatively slow. It takes time to establish legal frameworks that regulate new technologies. Additionally, when new technologies clash with existing industries, the process of balancing the interests of various stakeholders is complex and lengthy. The difficulty in accurately predicting the direction and impact of technological advancements necessitates cautious policymaking. Laws and policies must consider various social, economic and political factors, adding to their complexity and slowing their implementation. These examples demonstrate how technological advancements often outpace laws and policies. Governments and regulatory authorities need time to assess the social and economic impacts of new technologies and establish appropriate legal frameworks. This process aims to maximize the benefits of technological advancements while minimizing their negative impacts. To summarize, governments regulate sharing economy platforms to protect existing industries, implement strict safety and quality standards to protect consumers, enforce tax compliance to stabilize public finances, support domestic startups to prevent monopolization by global platforms, and ensure consumer protection to prevent excessive price increases and ensure service quality. Although technological advancements are rapid, laws and policies develop more slowly due to the need for careful review and consensus. This is essential for managing the societal impacts of technology and minimizing adverse effects. Ultimately, governments and regulatory authorities strive to maximize the benefits of new technologies while addressing the associated social and economic issues. The examples of the sharing economy illustrate this interaction and provide important insights into the future direction of technological advancement and regulation. Gordon Ramsay, getting angry. Gordon Ramsay, this is regulation, what's wrong with it? Gordon Ramsay's mentor, Marco Pierre White. Marco Pierre White, sometimes regulation is necessary. Grooving African kids, successful startups benefiting from relaxed regulations. This is really good. Anya Forges Tears, startup struggling due to strict regulations. This is so sad, John Ajogun. Meme consumers, enjoying benefits from relaxed regulations. This is so good. This approach helps to make the topic more engaging and relatable. The first rule of channel is subscribe channel. Second rule of channel is click like. This channel will make you smart.